Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverage is a very nice freshly squeezed orange juice with added pulp. Very nice indeed. Not freshly squeezed by me, just at the factory where they manufacture oranges or whatever. Either way, we don't have time for that. Welcome back to Airships and a new series where we're going to be looking at the conquest mode and hopefully we won't get wiped out in the first episode. But as always, the fun will be in finding out. As is tradition we will be trying to defeat our opponents doing some capturing and using designs that we've made previously as well so normally we will be designing and uh, designing ships uh, pretty much every episode or every other episode that's what normally we would do but in this one we're going to use a lot of the designs that we have made in previous standalone episodes we have a lot of airships ground ships and buildings that we have not yet tried out in anger in a conquest mode so I'm not ruling out any designing and building in the campaign, I'm just saying that I don't know how much of it will be compared to other series. Either way, with that said and done, let's jump in and I will set up the settings for the conquest mode. So, new game, and we need to select things like map size and difficulty, etc. Uh, large map is fine, I don't think huge is uh, really desired. Difficulty, in the previous series we ran it on easy, and I think we're going to knock it up to medium because it gives us that little added challenge. Mixed land type, default monsters we'll have normal research speed and starting at tech tier one there's no point in starting at zero i find and that should be fine let's just go to edit arms and we need to select our arm or coat of arms so we've previously gone with things like the well what have we gone with we've gone with uh the vial here which is 33 percent research speed we've had things like the scales uh quite traditionally we've used that as well 15 percent income from cities it's quite universal quite generic something that we can just used to build our designs so more money's you know better uh we haven't really gone things like waves or anything like that oh there's a one called the vault 50 percent airplane fire rate. that might actually make airplanes viable <laughs> actually they are viable i've just had uh limited success with them as opposed to uh, using traditional methods like you know cannon uh crown is conquered cities have no pacification period that's pretty good a b ships and buildings are built twice as fast that's really good as well dragon gives you dragon riders an eagle is all cannons are twice as accurate that's pretty good and then you've got different ones for technology as well i think we've also done the eye which spy actions are cheaper and we've also had a campaign with the worm eye which is unlock cultist technologies we're not going to do that because that means you know building things so yeah i think we're going to avoid that i'm going to go probably with the lozenge which is energized suspendium high pressure suspendium and scientific suspendium mining so we actually get a bit of a boost to technology from the get-go um is that desirable well a lot of our ships do use the uh, scientific suspendium mining which is the large the uh, the large suspendium thing so yes i think we will go for that and it makes it just a bit different doesn't it and we'll have this as the normally go with generican we're gonna go with generi and start that up so uh on day one uh, the, the game was created on day two the draw borders were drawn Day three, roads were added, and day four, we probably lose the game, but we'll see what happens there. So, we will load in and see what it has to say for itself. So, it's still paused, and it's going to give a bit of a tutorial on what we need to do, but we'll skip over that. should point out if you've not actually seen the conquest mode before, which is unlikely, but uh, yeah, you basically have a small bit of land, and you have to fight it out for the rest of it. No diplomacy for us as of yet, but that is in the pipeline hopefully sooner rather than later so we've been placed roughly in the center of the map on this little sort of headland here sticking out towards a fairly big ocean we are surrounded on two borders uh, by the Skulton and the Inip Inipec uh, I think uh, and then we also have Dagger Guild which is over off on a very desirable position on this area hollow there's a titan blade weed that's something i can't remember ever experiencing we have different oh, we're mad scientist over there we have mad scientist down there we have mad scientist here so we are on the land of the mad scientists oh and apparently dragons too across the way there's another titan so yeah, let's just see what happens. We'll go to normal speed and let them crack on. Actually, no, let's uh, select our research first. So we should, if I have... Well, yeah, it works out correctly. We should have scientific suspendium mining first, which is large suspendium chambers, and also the high-pressure suspendium as well. So we've already boosted up to there. I'm going to go for probably... Well, actually, what I need to go for is the... 
See if I can... No. I need to go for the thing that gives us... That gives us... Um, the fire extinguishers, but I can't find it. Wouldn't be under explosives, would it? No. Military training. There we go. F uh, fire safety. So that's fire extinguishers. So I know I've got a couple of designs that need fire extinguishers. So we will have a quick look at what we can potentially build then. So we're just going to go to build chip rather than design. Anything with SP means that we've built it. If it doesn't got SP, well, it's not one of ours. It's one of the default ones in the game or ones maybe I've downloaded from the workshop. But I don't think there's any of the latter. So we've got things like the bluebird, which is, yeah, you need like <laughs> suspendium rays, fire extinguishers, telescopes, a lot. So that's quite high tech. Uh, the opposite of that is the Bumblebee, which is the lowest tech possible. In fact, this thing can be used, I don't think it's necessarily tech zero, but it's certainly tech one or below. Uh, in fact, it might be the crow's nest that is tech one. But yeah, that's a very low tech thing and they're very effective as well. Uh, the Goldfinch is pretty good as well. That's uh, lots of grape shot cannons, yes, but we don't have fire extinguisher. That's why I'm trying to get that one. We've also got the Herring Gull, which is we need... Uh, suspendium, large suspendium chambers and telescopes and steel armor and such. Uh, the honeybee is which need the rays. We've got the owl, which <laughs> that's that's an interesting one. It's a more recent design, uh, but we don't have rockets. We have the test bed one, which is me just messing around with these. Uh, tentacles, which, yeah, I don't even know how you get them in the game. You probably have to attack things. Uh, the Wasp, which, again, is just mini rocket boat. And the Woodpecker, which is a ramming vessel, which is, with well, the best will in the world, almost completely useless. Anyway, we will unpause the game, go to, I think, max speed, and see what the AI has on well on its cards, really. What's, what's it going to do? We've got Skulton at the top here. We've got Inner Peck down the uh, left-hand side. And we are being attacked, so... Uh, fire has been, I see this here, it's on high alert, and they have, looks like, defeated one of our things here, I think. We have lots of rifles on this thing, and they are sending this fleet towards us, so I'm going to move my fleet, which is, uh, currently it's called the Invigorator, it's armed with a cannon, oh, not three cannons, so it's actually not T-bag. So we'll wait there. And oh yes, look, it's it's uh, turned round. It <laughs> is not uh, really wanting to hang around there. But while he was coming towards us, the enemy is attacking them. And ah, that's okay. So I might be able to uh, potentially... Ah, I was going to say, can I just sneak in there? I'll get my sneakers on and sneak in. But it didn't work out. It didn't work out. So we're up to a thousand... And, oh, we've been attacked over here, so we're just going to move. This is like the very early um, sort of dance that uh, you play in this game. So very early on, that you know, you, you really are on level footing, so you have to see where people attack from and move around and such and try and take what you can without losing any territory. I'm going to go to build ship here and go down. I want to build a bumblebee. I am uh, just a little bit shy of the right amount of money. One more, One more tick on that one. And we should be all right. So just waiting for the seasons to tick over there, or the days. And there we go, we've got enough money. So we're going to build the ship, Bumblebee, build that. Uh, one of, and then okay. It's going to take two months, 18 days to build. So, oh, and attacked again. So I'm just basically keeping my finger on the space bar. And he might get there first. Um, no, I think we got there just about the right time. So <laughs> he's got the exact same vessel as me. The difference is that I have all these defences. So I'm going to start over here. Distracting light from the east means shots fired from left to right less accurate. So we have all the advantages here. We're on home turf. We have the light uh, on the right direction behind us. And we have all of these defences as well. So I'm going to start the fight. All of these guys will go for an aim into fire. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I've actually went for rapid fire instead because I'm a moron. Uh, so, yeah, that's 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 not desirable. Let me change that over to aimed fire on that one. And we'll do the same thing for each of these because they have, I think, limited weapons. Um, let me just bring this guy down here because I don't want him I don't want him passing us. We need to block the way. In fact, they are very much, very, very keen, actually, on getting close to us. I'm going to purposefully ram into them there. That isn't a mistake on my part. I'm wanting to ram into them to make sure that they don't get past. Same as when I'm doing that again to stop them 
I have been moderately successful, but I think they've lost some suspendium. Uh, there is a big hole in their vessel, that's for sure. Are they going to try and go down? Uh, by the way, I should point out the ones at the bottom here, I didn't uh, I didn't change. I've kept them on rapid fire because I wanted to... You know what? I'm just going to ground it. There you go. You stay there. <laughs> and, oh, we've got some explosions there. Looks like they have lost... They've lost the top cannon and there's their suspendium chamber and there it's gone. Okay, they've lost suspendium chambers. So that means now I'm just going to go straight past them. I'm going to flip the vessel, and there we go. I'm just going to bring this right close in. And there's an explosion. They have one cannon left. I'm going to go with a rapid fire here. And they're on fire. Good. Okay. Not a bad opener at all. These are weird, these things. These little Star Trek cups, as I call them. <laughs> and I'm sure in the next generation they had cups like that. Uh... <laughs> It's a nice little vessel, this thing. It's pretty compact. Three cannons and a couple of rifles. That's all you need in life, really. And good shots going out. Sadly, the damage is not being inflicted on that cannon. That, as soon as I started that sentence, immediately went on fire, to prove me wrong. But this should be a win. Yep, there you go. Defeated. It's got no weapons, so it's lost everything. And it's also going to be classed as destroyed because it can't... Uh, it can't get out, so... That's gone. So, ship's repaired. Yep, yeah, all done. Vic and Terry. Good. And that means... Is this... No, it's not. I'm going to move this back. I need to get this repaired. Repair. It's going to take a while, though, because we've still got this thing to repair. But... got the bumblebee now let's invade oh and he's coming towards me where's he coming towards my home city wow okay interesting um gonna move back he's not turning back now he's turning back <laughs> i can say i thought he would eventually it shows you though just how slow this thing is so yeah oh enemy fleet's moving to raid one of your cities what's that oh is that mad scientist it is well that's bad look at the speed of it as well okay uh yeah i guess i guess i'm getting raided by that i've not seen that before Hmm. Start the fight then. It's an air, it's a metal air squid. And that's a sentence that nobody's ever said before. I think that's going to Oh, is that is that just a ram? Is that all it is? No, no, it's got tentacles and it is very much using those tentacles to take the crew. In fact, for a moment there that was not under command. Attacking uh, attackers are looting the city where your fleet is occupied. If you withdraw, your defence will be spared, but the city will be thoroughly looted. Minus 60% income. I'm going to withdraw. So, raid complete. It now basically goes away. <laughs> but, there's not much I can really do to... Uh, nothing I can really do to stop that. So, this is our vessel versus that little thing. Shots fired from left to right are less accurate. Not not, not ideal, certainly. Uh, what I'm going to do then is head towards it. I'm going to head behind it and then bring myself down. So we don't have the disadvantage. In fact, it will have the disadvantage. So this is the Bumblebee. It's normally the first thing that we make because it is very cheap. It is also, though, very effective. It's got several of these... Harpoons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ballistas, should I say. Ballistas. And although it's very slow, it's got a very high service ceiling. And it means that we can get to where we need to go. Not there quick, <laughs> but we can get there. Um, and what I'm doing now is getting right behind it. Because at the moment, you can see I'm actually getting attacked by the 
both weapons from the front and back. That's just the nature of rifles that they have a, I think they have a 270 degree arc of fire. But if I go here, then it does not. Uh, it can't uh, fire all those. So I'm just going to bring ourselves down. So we're now only, even though we're very close, I'm actually going to go to rapid fire here because it's so close. Uh, yeah, it's it's so close that, you know, it'll probably get bonuses for accuracy, but it doesn't matter. We've got all of our... <laughs> oh, good grief, we took the top off. Yeah, we have all of our um, ballistas there, and as you can see, it's a victory. So we'll do a gentle takeover there. So we have now uh, successfully taken that, and I'm going to keep invading. Because this guy doesn't seem to have much. And I'll probably build another one of those. So start the fight. Immediately, we've got... Oh, shots fired from right to left are less accurate. Okay, right. Well, that's that now benefits us. So I'm just going to get closer. You notice that our ammo has not gone up. That's a thing in the game. I, didn't think it, I don't think it used to be. I think it was a, a recent addition. And there's some nice shots. Hmm. Are we the baddies? It's got a skull on it. You can see there's like suspendium coming out from the ground. It's like suspendium plants. And we'll just park it a little bit closer. And I don't think this is going to last long. No, victory. Gentle takeover, and I don't know what they have. Let's go for this is research here. Let's go for telescopes. I don't know what they have at their main city, but I'm going to at least attempt to take it over. Okay. Shots fired from le right to left are less accurate. That's what we want again. Uh, going to move it down. What's it armed with? Cannon. Okay. We might be able to outmaneuver it. I don't know if I can outshoot it, but I'm certainly going to try. And this is where my lack of information fails me. Because I don't know what's better at range. Cannons are the harpoons. I have a feeling it's cannon. But we're on aimed fire. And their cannons ain't firing. We have a better fire arc. There we go. So, textbook example of using what you have to your advantage. We have the service ceiling. And we have the arc of fire advantage. We certainly don't have the armor advantage. He's about to have a... He's got a heat advantage now. Uh, he's also been defeated. There we go. Alright. So, that was... That was good. Gentle takeover. I'm going to keep that where it is. So immediately you can see that the map has changed quite significantly. This guy's been wiped out by us, I should point out. Uh, build ship. Bumblebee. So he's been wiped out, but we didn't get all of his towns. That's one left. This guy's taken a fair chunk of... Uh, other people's terrain. There's a bit of a fighting going on over there. And that just must be a coat of arms. I was going to say, is that an alliance? It's unlikely at this stage. So this thing I do need to... Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, he's lost his main city. So this guy's pretty much wiped out as well. He's got the... He's got these guys, but he can't take anything out. He can't build anything, should I say. So once it's destroyed, it's destroyed. You see, we're gentle takeover. Oh. Where are you coming to there, are you? Foreign spies sabotaged us. This guy should turn around as soon as we land there. Yeah, yeah, he's just decided against that. <laughs> uh, we have to fly back, though. Oh, this guy's going to get there first. And... We have... Well, technically we have some defences. Start, no target. Uh, 
Yes, I'm fairly confident he's won that one. Okay, well, we're still going to go in. Hmm. He certainly has the firepower advantage. Shots fired from left to right are less accurate. That's not what we want. I put myself here because I want to use the service ceiling to my advantage. I'm just bringing ourselves high up as possible. Although he definitely has a good service ceiling too. He might even have a, a better service ceiling. And he's getting close. And there's not so much I can really do about that. Huh. This guy is... He's got grape shot cannons. I look of it. I've gone past, so now he's firing from left to right. Just gonna flip. Get me shots going. And I've crashed into one another. So I'm just having to try and outmaneuver them here. What I really need is them to lose some suspendium. Speaking of losing suspendium, I've just lost the cap on the back of that. I mean, do I flee? Or do I try and keep fighting here? That suspendium chamber is exposed. And they've maneuvered themselves really the, well the wrong direction. The problem is, see the shots? The shots, because of the travel, the, the velocity of these are, is so poor. Oh, there's a suspendium chamber gone. Wow. Yeah, because of the <laughs> very poor um, velocity of these arrows, we're not able to hit very well. Luckily, that thing's now out for the count. That thing's gone. So I'm hoping then, that if we take this thing out, we can capture this back. Is he going for the ram there? He might be. But we're also about to lose that suspendium chamber on the bottom, and the top one's not faring too well either. But this is a brilliant fight from the from the bumblebee. Oh, oh no, that's not what we wanted. So, uh, <laughs> we have lost suspendium. Hold fire. I don't want him firing anymore. He's firing at that thing over there, and I really don't want him to do that. Um, we have a problem. I need to turn round. And I can't when he's doing that. Hmm. Could this be a stalemate? Focus on moving. I'm going to try and spin us around. Ram. To there. Right. What is evident is that we have... Oh. Hang on. We have the... Um... We have the manoeuvring advantage because he's lost his drive. There it is there. <laughs> there it goes, in fact. But he has this... But he has the suspendium. Well, the only... The only tool I think I have at my disposal is to use this island to scrape <laughs> the ship off the bottom of our vessel. If nothing else, I can ram him into it. So just go there. No, no. Right, ram, go. Okay, now it's just pushing on, the <laughs> now it's just pushing the island about. So if I just go up there. I think it's possible. But the game is going to give us a draw. That's it. I want to push that way. Nah, the island's got no traction. Obviously, it's floating midair, so it's just not working out. That's a shame. Oh, there you go. Bit of damage on the island. It's going to be a draw. Oh, no, victory. Because this class is destroyed. Gentle takeover. Wow. Didn't think we'd do that. Glad it worked out. Okay. I don't know where that was from. And I'm going to move over here. 
this mad scientist needs to go as well at some point. But I don't know what the best course of action for that would be. I certainly need to repair this thing. But it's going to take probably far too long to move over. Look at this speed. This, this speed is so poor. <laughs> so poor on these things. Yeah, it's now repositioning. Um, what is the other option? A Sparrowhawk. Large suspendium chamber is not available. Hmm. I'm going to give it research programs. And we're going to go for... For that. So that guy's darting around all over the place. I'm going to move this one to start attacking the other way. That's my objective anyway. That's been taken over. Good. Has no defensive buildings. Yes, I'm aware. I'm going to repair this. I'm also going to bring these fleets together. Telescopes has been done, so we now have optics. Um, let's go to defences here. We'll repair that. And... We'll build an orc, which is, I think, rather a marvellous vessel. I think maybe... Maybe spend some time to put some defences in would be with some advantage. So I'm just going to start to build some defences. Oh yeah, this is not going to work out for him too well. Nighttime fight. What's it say for nighttime? Accuracy of all weapons is decreased. Fair enough. Aimed fire. Then we're going to get in close. Ah. General takeover. He's uh, flung the towel in on that one. Well, while this guy is attacking on the left, I'm going to take his stuff out all around here. In fact, I'm going to send them at separate areas. Cover it the most that I can. Just get closer here. So we're still in danger level though. This could be the point where he just has to turn around and attack attackers. But the more we do here, while he's at the other side of the world, the better. Yeah, he's got loads of rifles, which I think are one of the most accurate weapons in the game. I think torpedoes have a better effective range as well as the suspendium uh, cannons. But rifles are certainly up there, especially for their tier of technology. We've got a rapid fire here. I'm so close and I really couldn't care less. Um, Actually, what's this? Should I fire from right to left or less accurate? In that case, that's fine. We'll stay where we are. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three on the back. We'd be suffering... We'd be having less attacks if we were from the other side. So potentially that's the best way of doing it. But frankly moving over could be some pro could cause some problems. And I've already lost a rifle anyway, so they're down to four rifles. I'm just going to keep the shots going. I'm going to change to normal fire. I notice there's a lot of shots that are missing. And because this is a campaign, it's not just about this fight, it's about the logistics and the fight after this and the fight after that. So. So not bad so far. Just gonna max speed it out. And there we go. Disintegration. Gentle takeover and. Very concerned that there's no defences over there. I do need to I do need to build some defences. But I need how much for the for the orc? Eight hundred and sixty. For the time being then, let's just keep attacking and bring this over here. This is the 
oh, this is their home city. But, again, one structure. Alright. Let's just get close then. Actually, no, I'm going to get up and over. Because there are more rifles on this side than there. So over the top, down, move back. Oh. Flip. There we are. So only three rifles, I think. Uh, one rifle. <laughs> no. Uh, zero rifles now. <laughs> In fact, all the weapons were were um, taken off there. How curious. Wow. So we have made some good inroads here, but we're going to leave it there. That's good progress. Janeri started here, took a bit of territory, and we've moved down. This guy's territory that we are attacking, he's been too focused, I think, on... He's been very aggressive... So, obviously, that means good expansion for him. But, well, we've also taken stuff back here. We could fall into the same trap. Which is why I'm trying to keep some ships around. And I'm also trying to uh, build at least some defences here. This big city, we will have to build something there. But we'll do that next episode when we've got over 800. Alright, not too bad and not a bad start at all. I, I'm going to just put that back to subsidies because I need the extra cash. But that's been a bit of airships. Hopefully a decent start and hopefully that will continue. A quick look at the map. We are tied for first when it comes to big cities taken. That's three each. Followed by two and... That's actually it, yeah. Three, three, then two over there, then one, 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 one. One, one, one. This guy, don't even know. Oh, no, he's got two. Yeah, he's got two cities. Okay. Look at this guy, the island guy, Dagger Guild. He's attacking the other island, establishing his dominance there. Oh, no, this guy's got two. Okay, so there's a lot of people with two. And, oh, sweet. That's a narwhal torpedo. Shows you the, what it is. So, propeller, lubricant, engine gearing, steam turbine. What's N? I am explosive charge. And P is contact prong. <laughs> contact fuse. Brilliant. Cool. Okay, we're leaving it there for now. That's been a bit of Airships Conquer the Skies. As always, hope you have enjoyed it. And hopefully next episode we will continue on in earnest and be successful. We'll also have to try and deal with the mad scientist. So we'll see about that. But as always, <laughs> let's see what happens there. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.